So if you're thinking about moving to Orange County, California, you better get used to spending this. Yes, because Orange County is very expensive. Um, the median home price in Orange County is about a million dollars. Well, it's about 944000 uh, So we're almost yeah. there. So, I mean, and we're not saying this to, you know, brag or to be snobs or anything like that. We're just, just saying it's just the reality. Because in this video, we're going to talk about, you know, some of the things that you the have. five things. The five things that you just have to know about living in Orange County. And if you can't handle these five things, then I wouldn't recommend living here. We're just going to be raw. We're going to be real. We're going to give you the truth. So stay tuned after this. What's up, everybody? I'm Sean Dezod. And I'm Courtney Dezod. And we're with Keller Williams Realty. Right here in Orange County, California. And if this is your first time on the channel and you want to know everything about working, eating, sleeping, living, and playing in Orange County, don't forget to click on the subscribe button and don't forget to click on the little bell so you're notified every time a new video comes out. Now we get so many calls from people looking to either buy or sell a home in Orange County and we absolutely love it. So whether you're thinking about moving to, moving from, or moving within Orange County, either give us a call, shoot us a text, or send us an email. Or you can reach out to us via WhatsApp. However you want to get a hold of us, we've got your back. So Courtney, we're going to be raw. <laughs> We're going to be real. We're going to be raw. We're going to let people know what's up about Orange County. There's five things that you got to know. And if you can't handle these things, mm -hmm. you know, maybe Orange County is not right for you. Yeah. And then first of all, if you are actually watching this video, then you might just be the only person in the world who is thinking about moving to California instead of away from California. Yeah. We've been known to be basically invading <laughs> other states around the country. And yeah. in fact, what did your sister have to oh, say? So my sister who has lived in Texas for 10 years told me recently that Californians are quote, ruining Texas. That is coming from a Californian. From a Cal and my best friend, she's from, or not from, she's from California, but she lives in Colorado and she said, Californians are ruining Colorado. <laughs> so. So, yeah. so you know what's the point of moving really just just come back to California it's, everything's turned into California anyway that is true so you're probably wondering how much money do you actually need to buy a house here how big does this pile have to be it's a lot I mean you know basically we are approaching that one million dollar price point for just a median property in Orange County one million dollars and that's not getting you a ritzy property or anything. That's your median price point. Yeah, for sure. And um, I mean, if Sean actually has a good story about kind of like the sticker shock that some people get when <laughs> they come from out of the area. They're not used to, you know. So first of all, one I one person actually commented on our YouTube channel saying, "Well, Orange County is actually rather cheap when you compare it to some of the most expensive areas around the world," and that actually is true. True. But, you know, for... There's a lot of other not so super expensive areas in the world that Orange County yeah. is very expensive. Yeah, I mean, obviously, you compare us to Tokyo, uh, obviously, we're... We're a bargain. We're a bargain. We actually are, because it's a beautiful, wonderful, idyllic place to live. However, for the average person, yeah, well, you can get some sticker shock. I mean, get, yeah. give an example. So, like, as an idea, so basically, I had a client, this is several years ago, right? So, he was looking to buy a three-bedroom condo. Nothing super fancy about it. It was about a thousand square feet, so small, older building, all that stuff. Nothing special about the area or the property itself. And at the time, it was about you know three hundred thousand dollars. Now, to, in today's prices, it's more about five hundred thousand dollars. But when he was buying this thing, he he came from Illinois, and his family was just jaw dropped. They were like, "Wait, you're buying a three bedroom older <laughs> older condo for three hundred thousand dollars when you could buy in Illinois?" You know, I'm not sure where exactly in Illinois, but you could buy in Illinois a four-bedroom house for $80,000. And they're going, they just could not believe it. So ultimately, with the peer pressure, he had to back out. Would have worked out well for him, though, because he would have been $200,000 richer. But again, that's just how these things go, where people really have a, you know, you do get the sticker shock where people are like are having this perception of, oh, this is what I can get. You know, this is what I'm looking for here. And really, their, their budget just doesn't, doesn't match. Yeah, and um, so that's just definitely one thing that if you, you know, if you if you feel that that is way too expensive, then that's really just something that maybe, you know, Orange County isn't right for you. It's just, True. you know, it's just a fact of life of living here, for sure. And then another fact of life of living here that if you can't handle it, you definitely don't so want to come here. This is fact of life number two. <laughs> is that you need a car. I mean, if you compare this to some of the, the world's Metropolitan biggest, centers. Yeah, yeah, big, most expensive cities, you know, New York City, London, Tokyo, Paris, they have 
really, really good public transportation. We do not have that. No. We have terrible, <laughs> like we were built for cars <laughs> and, it, and it's extremely expensive to actually convert that to some mass transportation. And we had that one that told, I mean, that little trolley thing that has, you know, they had these well, delusions they of even, it never even <laughs> I think they, they actually did pass where it's going to be like this small little stretch. Maybe uh, they'll extend it more, but oh, yeah. it's, it's incredibly expensive. And we do have the Metrolink, which is there, but it's it's not easy to get to. And and yeah, again, and it's, it's just you, you still need a car, even if you use the Metrolink. Yeah, that more just helps you avoid traffic. But yeah, you need I don't a car. Think it I mean, that help you save time. So. No, like I remember years ago, my great uncle, like they had just moved to this country, and they they lived in Long Beach, which isn't that far away. It's about a thirty-ish minute drive from here. Or, you know, from like you know from Orange County. And the thing is, is that they didn't have a car, so they took the bus. And the bus took them about two hours to get here. So it was kind of like one of those things where a lot of their day was just, like half their day was basically spent just going, going to and from a pro, you know, an area that's not far away. It's yeah. not like they were driving to San Diego. They were driving down to just Orange County. And so that's kind of one of these things where you just have to be prepared that you're going to most likely need a car. Not most likely. You need a car. <laughs> Unless you're a university student who's living on campus and not going anywhere. You need a car. Yeah, and unless it's like there are these little pockets. I mean, we have our little semi downtownish kind of areas, but even then, yeah, you're gonna need it. You're gonna need a car, basically. Yeah, and then so we're talking about cars. Going on to point number three, if you if you can't handle what do all those cars do? <laughs> they drive on roads, on yeah. freeways, and number three traffic. is traffic. Yes, all those cars funnel into these these freeway lanes, yeah. and we do have you know again. Depending on where, like a lot of areas around the world, traffic is horrific. Of yeah, course, well, like for example, populated. for yeah. example, Dallas, where my sister lives, the traffic is horrible there too. So I mean, a lot of people would prefer you know Texas over California, but I can't say it's because of the traffic because no. they are tra Dallas traffic is just horrific. And s similarly, Orange County traffic is horrific. pretty bad. Yeah. And I would actually, although some she might actually argue that Orange County traffic is better than Dallas traffic. Yeah, so. and I will say that Orange County, compared to its Southern California neighbors, has better traffic. Yeah. It's still bad traffic compared to a lot of the other parts of the country or world. Yeah. However, like, because we do have several freeways that run through here, and we do have a ton of large streets, like, that are almost de facto highways themselves, it does kind of have a lot of alternate routes that you can have to get to one place to the, from point A to point B. Mm -hmm. But still, the traffic is pretty tough. <laughs> yeah, the traffic, I mean... I infamously had a little bite mark in my steering wheel <laughs> once. This is when I was younger, and my dad basically noticed it, and he said, what's this? And I said, uh, nothing. And he's like, did you bite that? <laughs> it was a, a moment of frustration. She was, a little, yeah, she was a little upset. During traffic, which can happen. Traffic can be very frustrating. <laughs> and then another thing that can be frustrating about this traffic, this is sort of like a little side oh, note, yes. is when it rains here, the traffic <sighs> is just even worse, and the drivers are horrible. So yeah, this is like frustrating thing number three point five, I guess. Yeah. So so basically, Stormwatch is a real thing. Yeah. You'll actually, it's actually hilarious. We will have our local news coverage drop everything to cover a quarter inch of rain hitting the ground. So we will have these issues with rainstorms where Southern Californians cannot drive in the rain. No, and they can't. Inevitably. And, 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 it's actually, it can be quite dangerous. I mean, we actually were a victim of recently, um, you know, yes. a rainy day. We got in an accident. It was 100% the other person's <laughs> fault, according to the insurance, which we very much agreed with. Um, <laughs> but it's just, that's just basically what happened is a girl, she was trying to get across the road. She, she tried to go in front of us. She skidded it, out. She skidded out because of the rain. She couldn't make it, and she just rammed right into us. Thankfully, nobody was hurt. Yes. We had the kids in the car, which was extremely scary, but... Nobody was hurt. She wasn't hurt. Yeah. The car was totaled. But. And what you have to know about California, because we get so little rain in general, is that when it does rain, you just have to be a bit extra mindful because the roads are actually extra slick. You mm -hmm. do have that There's all this, oil. yeah, all this oil that's actually seeped into the ground. It doesn't bubble up when there's no rain, but once the rain hits, it starts to bubble up, and that ground is a little bit more slick. And so I'm sure that that helped her skid out, and it did assist us in not being able to break because as we tried to break. You know, obviously, we just didn't have that much as much grip to the ground because of the slick, you know, slick roads. So that is just something to be mindful of. Is that yeah, when it rains, watch out for the traffic. Yeah, and so we're talking about the rain. <laughs> here's so another. Here's another. So the fourth point four. about things, you know, if you can't handle it, 
then you probably, Orange County is not for you, is that Orange County does not have seasons. No. No. It's Perpetual here. spring. Or fall. I mean, yeah. <clears throat> so. You say tomato, I say tomato. <laughs> so let's compare it to maybe a, a spot that people know. So the Mediterranean climate, so, you know, Nice, France, or maybe Greece. These places are known as having the best weather in the world. However, not we to would us. actually argue that we actually, so Southern California, coastal Southern California has better weather. Um, it's a little bit. It's, our, it's drier. It's drier. Our winters are a little bit more mild. It doesn't rain as much. And it's probably not as hot in the summer as some of these places um, on the Yeah, we just have some amazing weather. I mean, well, again, if that's if you want so like amazing, if you want seasons though, yeah. you're not going to really get that in coastal Southern California. Mm -hmm. I mean, you might have to go to the mountains or whatever, which fortunately is not that far away. It's like yeah. an hour and a half away. However, if you're looking for snow, if you're looking for just the fall foliage being so, like so dramatic and beautiful. Southern California doesn't offer you that. We have yeah. very consistent climate, and which people pay big bucks to live here for that. But, but one complaint I've like, heard, yeah, yeah. I've well, heard from one of my best that. friends. She's from Utah, and she wishes with all her heart that she could go back because she misses the snow. She misses, you know, the white Christmases. She misses... She misses shovel <laughs> shoveling snow, getting all bundled up, especially when you have kids. Oh, it's fantastic. You know, who doesn't want to just bundle the kids up? I don't know if you've seen Christmas Story, but when that kid, like, is, like, in his little getup where he can't even put his arms down, yeah. this is not our reality. We don't, like, th right now, today, this is a few days after Thanksgiving, and it is like 75 degrees. I mean, yeah. this is this is California. I mean, I, I mean, this is, Southern California. Yeah. It just it rarely rains. It doesn't get super cold. It doesn't the get super is hot. Paradise. Yes, it is. Again, but it can be have an effect of Groundhog Day, where you kind of just like, what? This is December. <laughs> oh, for example, we have December soccer. I was just there yesterday, and it's just you know all these kids are in out, shorts and t-shirts in t playing soccer at night, and it's just totally fine. Yeah. So yeah, that's kind of what you get when you're living here. Um, and then another point, if you can't number handle five. it, number five is, this is specifically speaking to South County, so the southern region of Orange County, and then in pockets of North County that are more newer, like um, newer areas, is you can get the feel that like every home is a different <laughs> shade of beige. Yes. It's very consistent, especially for example, you know, Orange County, it's really famous for Newport Beach and Irvine, and Irvine is that just like to a T. Yeah, master plan community, like where you know every house is like there's three different models of the same, mm -hmm. uh, and then that's what you get throughout this entire neighborhood, and you do have that you know again people have criticized as well, you actually, did, yeah. like you know so you had this issue. I, I grew up right, I grew up in the mat. I, I have Stockholm syndrome, right? So. <laughs> I, this is all I know, but yeah. when Courtney moved here from San Diego, she could not get over the lack no, of I... culture because <laughs> we had such, like, such, like, homogenous mm -hmm. homes, right? Yeah, all the homes were just exactly the same. And this is actually a reason I have a very good friend who lives in Long Beach, which is L.A. County, specifically for this reason. Like, she doesn't like the cookie-cutter neighborhoods. And to me, I can't understand that because I would so much rather be in these cookie-cutter neighborhoods than a house that was maybe built in 1940 or 1930 mm -hmm. that you're like okay the floor plans all doesn't have a nice flow to it it's got all these you know the electrical electrical plumbing the lead based paint all this stuff that's old and it, it never will have the flow of a newer property right i mean yeah. you'd have to like so, so severely alter that you might as well just demo it so i when i see someone that has that i'm going I would so much rather be built like in a house that's built much newer and that has that flow to it. I mean, again, that's again, that's me though. I mean, yeah. that, that's how I feel about it. Well, I mean, and then for me personally, because there are so many other points that I like about Irvine, that I, yeah. for me, I, I just sort of you know got over the cookie cutter <laughs> thing. I mean, personally, I prefer a neighborhood that's not cookie cutter, but it's not a deal breaker for me anymore. Whereas some people, it actually is, and if it's a deal breaker for you, then yeah. It's just yeah. something that you can, I mean, at least you'll, you want to be steering clear of South Orange County for the most part. Yeah, so that's our five reasons, and we do have... A bonus. A bonus reason, and that is... Sunscreen. Sunscreen. If you don't like putting on sunscreen, for example, we, our daughter, she... Has pretty fair skin. She has red hair, so 
Um, yeah, we just are. We, we basically like dip. You know, she's dipping. Achilles, right? So I dip yeah. her into a vat of, of, of sunscreen. Of sunscreen, and basically, yeah. um, so we, and so and if you don't like that, you probably shouldn't. <laughs> and you you should do it because I mean, I'm case in point why you should do it. I I mean, I grew up in the sun in San Diego, running a lot though, running too. a so lot, you're in the swimming south, a lot, and yeah, now I'm, life, every sure. time I go to the dermatologist, I have to get something else cut off my back. So. <laughs> <laughs> Just be mindful that, you know, yeah. sunscreen is your friend here, for sure. Yes, for sure. But if you hate putting on sunscreen, <laughs> don't come here. <laughs> <laughs> so that's it. That's our video about things that... Five things. Five things that if you can't get used to this, if you don't like it, then you really... Orange County is not for you. It's not for you. Yeah, it's not for you. There's... I mean... It's not new. It's Orange County, right? Yeah. So it's just it's just Orange County. It's got it's got its quirks like every yeah. other place does. We and find these are that five quirks. We oh. find that it's paradise. It's all is forgiven. The quirks <laughs> are fine. We believe it's paradise. It actually is for us the most beautiful, wonderful paradise in the world. However, there are people that don't like it. I mean, doesn't work for everybody. Yeah, I mean, so that's why if you you know are wondering, will Orange County work for me? You got to reach out to us. To you know, so we can direct you to those right properties that you might want to might want to like at least check out or might possibly want to want to move to. So you can either give us a call, shoot us a text, or send us an email. Or you can contact us via WhatsApp. However, you want to get a hold of us, we've got your back.